Welcome to the Chess Your Map. Hi friends. Today we are going to discuss how to sketch the quadratic function using local maxima points and local minimum points. So before that we have to know some points. So this is the quadratic function f of x is equal to x square and the graph is this way it is a u-shaped graph and this is again a quadratic function f of x is equal to x square minus 12x plus 8 again it is a u-shaped graph these are again examples of quadratic function graphs see here this is the graph of f of x is equal to minus x square a negative sign is here negative x square so the graph is inverted u shaped again this is the graph of a quadratic function f of x is equal to minus x square plus 3x this is also an inverted u shaped graph before solving the problems we have to know these points that is a stationary point on a curve is any point where the curve has gradient 0 Gradient in the sense dy by dx is equal to 0, that is f dash of x is equal to 0, then those points obtained are called stationary points. And if a function f of x has stationary point when x is equal to a, then if f double dash of a greater than 0, the point is local minimum, and if f double dash of a less than 0, the point is a local maximum. That is, the second derivative is greater than 0, the point is local minimum. And the second derivative is less than 0, the point is local maximum. So using all these concepts, we are going to solve the problem and sketch the graph. Now we are going to solve this problem. Find the coordinates of the points where the gradient is 0 on the curve with the equation y is equal to 4x square plus 6x. Establish whether these points are local maximum or local minimum. Then B part is you have to sketch the graph of y is equal to 4x square plus 6x. So what is the first step? You have to find the coordinates of the points where the gradient is 0. So the gradient means dy by dx. So you have to differentiate that is the first derivative. So what is the first step? y is equal to 4x square plus 6x. So you have to differentiate this. Therefore dy by dx is equal to 4x square differentiation is 8x. And 6x differentiation is 6. Now this you can, from both this, you can take 2 outside. So the remaining 4x plus 3. So we have got dy by dx is equal to 2 into 4x plus 3. See so here, the gradient is 0. So what is the gradient? dy by dx is equal to 0. So we have to put f dash of x is equal to 0 to find the stationary points. So what is the first derivative? dy by dx. So that we have to put 0. Therefore, what is dy by dx? It is 8x plus 6. Or we can write it as 2 into 4x plus 3. So 2 into 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So what are the points you will get from here? 2 is not equal to 0. So this 4x plus 3 will be equal to 0. So from this 4x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to minus 3 by 4. So you have got the point x is equal to minus 3 by 4. So when you put f dash of x is equal to 0 that is the first derivative 0 you are getting x value as minus 3 by 4. Now you have to find the y value. So put this x is equal to minus 3 by 4 in y. So what is your y value? 4x square plus 6x. So in the place of x, you have to substitute minus 3 by 4. Therefore, when x is equal to minus 3 by 4, y is equal to 4 into minus 3 by 4, the whole square, plus 6 into minus 3 by 4. So when you calculate this, you will be getting minus 9 by 4. You can calculate this using a calculator. So you will be getting the value y is equal to minus 9 by 4. So the stationary points obtained are
So what we got a stationary point. So stationary point is minus 3 by 4 minus 9 by 4. So how did you get the stationary point? By putting f dash of x 0, first derivative 0, that is gradient 0. So if we put the gradient 0, that is the first derivative 0, the point what you are getting is x and when you substitute that x value in y, you will get the stationary point. So the stationary point is minus 3 by 4 minus 9 by 4. So dy by dx is equal to 8x plus 6. Now we have to find the second derivative. That is d square y by dx square is equal to. If we differentiate 8x, the differentiation is 8 and 6 differentiation is 0. Constant differentiation is 0. So here from this you can confirm whether this is local maximum or local minimum. I have already shown, I have already shown you in the introduction if the second derivative that is f double dash of x is greater than 0 so here 8 is greater than 0 if it is greater than 0 then we can say that it is local minimum 8 is greater than 0 that is the second derivative is greater than 0 then we can say that it is local minimum and the point obtained is what is the stationary point obtained is minus 3 by 4 comma minus 9 by 4 is a local minimum point. So here it is greater than 0. So what we have got is local minimum point minus 3 by 4 minus 9 by 4 minus 3 by 4 comma minus 9 by 4 is the local minimum point. So once again let me repeat the question you have to find the coordinates of the point so these are the coordinates what you have obtained these are the coordinates and what is the next part next part of the question you have to establish whether these points are local maximum or local minimum so after getting the coordinates you have confirmed that it is the local minimum point so our a part is over now we are going to sketch the graph of the function using all these points. Now we are going to sketch the graph of the function. So what is the function given? y is equal to 4x square plus 6x. So the power is 2. So the highest power in the function is 2. So we can, we know that this is the quadratic function. And what are the points of time? Minus 3 by 4 minus 9 by 4 is a local minimum point. And this minus 3 by 4, I have written it as minus 0 0.75. I have converted to decimal. And minus 9 by 4, again I have converted to decimal. And I have written as minus 2.25. And let us mark these points in the graph. So now we are going to sketch the graph. See here, what are the points? Minus 3 by 4 and minus 9 by 4. That I have written as minus 0 0.75 and minus 2.25. This 9 by 4 I have converted to decimal and 3 by 4 I have converted to decimal. Okay. So where is 0 0.75? So negative 0 0.75. That is minus 3 by 4. See here. It is here. And minus 2.25. That is minus 9 by 4, minus 2.25 is here, this y axis, minus 2.5. So the point here is minus 3 by 4, comma, minus 9 by 4. So this is the point, minus 3 by 4, comma, minus 9 by 4. Now we are going to sketch the graph. Before that, we have one more point to see. See here, y is equal to 4x square plus 6x. Now we are going to put y is equal to 0. So if you put y is equal to 0, you will be getting 0 is equal to 4x square plus 6x. So in the required function, you are putting y is equal to 0. So two more points you will get. Here, from these two values, I am taking 2x outside. 
so remaining 2x plus 3 if 2x into 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 then 2x is equal to 0 that is x is equal to 0 or 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 so from this you will get x is equal to minus 3 by 2 so if y is equal to 0 you are getting x is equal to 0 and if y is equal to 0 you are getting 2 x is equal to minus 3 by 2 so what are all the points you have got 0 comma 0 if x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 if y is equal to 0 then x is equal to minus 3 by 2 so two points you are getting 0 comma 0 and minus 3 by 2 comma 0 so that also we can mark it in the graph so that we can get little more accurate graph okay so this is the point minus 3 by 4 comma minus 9 by 4 this is 4 okay this is 4 minus 3 by 4 comma minus 9 by 4 then 0 comma 0 this is 0 comma 0 then minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 is minus 1.5 right so minus 1.5 is here in the x-axis and this is the point minus 3 by 2 comma 0 so let me write that minus 3 by 2 comma 0 and 0 comma 0 now I am going to sketch the graph so if the function is positive x square the graph will be u shaped that is for a quadratic function the graph will be u shaped see this f of x is equal to x square and f of x is equal to x square minus 12x plus 8 So here the function is y is equal to 4x square plus 6x. So what you have to do? The graph will be u-shaped. So you have to keep in mind the graph is u-shaped. Okay. So we have got three points. See this is one point. This is one point. So the graph will be u-shaped. So I am joining these points. Now I can extend. Now we have sketched the graph. So I have joined these points and have drawn a U-shaped graph. Okay, you can extend this. Now the point what you have got is local minimum point. Okay, now it is a U-shaped graph. So what is the function? Y is equal to 4x square plus 6x. So these two points what we got, what we have done by putting y is equal to 0 why we have done this because to get uh, an accurate graph ok so thus we have sketched the quadratic graph so similar to the previous problem we have done another problem let me start that find the coordinates of the points where the gradient is 0 on the curve with the given equation y is equal to 9 plus x minus x square. So here I have used a negative term. Establish whether these points are local maximum points and local minimum points. And you have to sketch the graph. So this is similar to the previous problem but only difference is here I have used a negative. Okay. So let us start solving the problem. So first step is you have to find the uh, coordinates of the points where the gradient is 0 for this function and you have to confirm whether that points obtained are local maximum or local minimum points. So similar to the previous problem the same step should be followed and just see what you have to do. So the function is y is equal to 9 plus x minus x square. So I have differentiated and obtained the first derivative value. Then I have put f dash of x is equal to 0 and got the stationary points. 1 minus 2x is equal to 0, 1 is equal to 2x and 2x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 by 2. I have got the x value. Now I have substituted this x value in the y value. So y is equal to 9 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 the whole square. So I have obtained the y value also. Okay, so these are the coordinates I got it. x is equal to 1 by 2 and 9 1 by 4. This is x value and this is y value. And the coordinates 
or the coordinates what I obtained is 1 by 2 and 9 1 by 4. And now I have differentiated this again to confirm the nature of the stationary points obtained. So dy by dx is equal to 1 minus 2x and when you differentiate that you will be getting d square y by dx square is equal to minus 2 less than 0. So when I differentiate this, this constant differentiation will be 0 and minus 2x differentiation will be minus 2. And minus 2 is less than 0 if the second derivative is less than 0 then we can confirm that it is local maximum point. So the point, these are the stationary points obtained. These are the stationary points obtained. And these are the stationary points obtained. And the nature of the stationary point is local maximum because the second derivative is less than 0. So you can confirm that it is local maximum and the stationary point what you have obtained is the local maximum point. So before sketching the graph, now, uh, now we have completed the A part. Now we are going to sketch the graph of the given function. So before sketching the function, sketching the graph, you have to keep in mind if there is negative before x square. If there is a negative sign before x square, then your graph will be inverted u shape. Just see these graphs. See here minus x square plus 3x. Again it is an inverted graph. So you have to keep in mind. If it is a negative sign before x square, then your graph will be inverted u-shaped. So just see here, I have sketched the graph of this function. So the function is y is equal to 9 plus x minus x square. So see here, here you have minus x square. Just make a note here. You have minus x square and so your graph should be inverted u-shaped. Okay. And the point what you have got is local maximum point. So the maximum point, I have first marked the maximum point that is 1 by 2, 9, 1 by 4. So this uh, is scaled as 1 unit, x axis and y axis also I have scaled as 1 unit. And half, see here in between 0 and 1, I have marked half and 9, 1 by 4. After 9, I have marked 9, 1 by 4. So I have marked the point uh, 1 by 2, 9, 1 by 4. And you know that. Uh, it is a negative sign here and so your graph should be inverted u shaped and you can draw this way and this is your local maximum point. And if you have any doubts you can post it in the comment box. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. Please to subscribe to our channel.